in my earlier videos I've shown the creation of a display window and also I've shown the 2D drawing. Today I'm going to show you the 3D drawing. For 3D drawing I've chosen a cube and to rotate the cube. And one thing is very important in case of a 3D drawing that, that in case of a 2D drawing I have I had taken glue ortho 2D and that has been replaced by GL ortho that means orthogonal projections it is a three dimensional minus two and two this is a x coordinate minimum x coordinate maximum and that is the minus two it is a y coordinate minimum y coordinate maximum and this is minus 10 z coordinate minimum and z coordinate maximum that is an important thing and it will create a coordinate system and with this it will create a volumes of with this x coordinate y coordinate and z coordinate in that volumes your display should be placed and then another thing because it is a three dimensional you can see here i have one thing I have added here, GL depth buffer bit because the depth information has to be kept in a depth buffer. And therefore you can see here in the main also, I have in the display mode, I have added glut depth. And, and another thing you can see, I have here also I have added GN enable, enable that GL depth test and it will update the depth buffer that is also required to updating the depth buffer and these changes I have made other than uh, it remained the same it will create just a window with a white background and because I have chosen the all are red one green one and blue one therefore as as I uh, built it and run it you can see it is creating a just a window with a white background and for the further uh, I'll show you the drawing. To understand a cube rotations the first we have to understand the coordinates of the cube. You can see I have chosen that A as a origin and with this origin origin and every length of every side is one and therefore uh, these are the coordinate system b uh, it is one zero zero x coordinate coordinate is there and y coordinate and z coordinate is both are zero in this way uh, you can see that i have uh, written all the coordinate of all the all the vertices and in this cube it has six faces and that will draw one by one faces and we'll see and we'll rotate it also and we'll see that uh, the impact of that and that coordinate should be understood properly now you can see I have added one array uh, which is a double subscripted array and eight indicating the number of vertices and three indicating that each vertices has three coordinate x coordinate y coordinate and z coordinate now you can see the zero 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 this one it representing the coordinate of a one zero zero coordinating of coordinate of b and therefore this is c d e f in this way and the, all the coordinate is representing now another thing you can see I have added also that one function polygon in that there are four arguments are there a b c d and these are all of integer type and these will be the index of these arrays suppose I from the calling function I have given the actual argument actual parameters I have given that 0, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
2, 3, 4. That means 0 means A, coordinate of A. 2 means coordinate of C in this way. Next, I'll show you the uh, another function, Q, or from which the polygon function will be called. Now you look at the Q again. You can see that A, B, G, F, that is one of the faces of the Q. And index of A, already I told, it is 0. B is 1. And you can see G is 6 and F is 5. And these will be the actual parameters when we call this polygon function. And this will be the actual parameters. And another face will draw that is A, D, E, F. And we'll show that how to call this. Uh, Q functions with these parameters. Now you see that I have added another function Q and that I have given the color that red color that means 1 0 0 and I have calling that polygon with that index already I have shown where I am calling with 0 1 Six, five. Already I have shown that and I am calling the two faces and, and next faces will be of yellow color because uh, red plus green will be the yellow color. And another thing, important thing is that because I want to rotate that, therefore in the, you can see display function I have used the GL rotate app and the point one it is the angle of rotation and 1, 1, 1, that is the axis. If you join to it 0, 0, 0, that means origin and this point, you, if you join 1, 1, 1, then it will, you will get an axis. That means, that means if you join the A and H, you will get an axis and, and about that axis and the rotation will take place. Another important thing that I have added here you can see glut idle function and bracket I have given display. That means the display function will be called again and again whenever the it will it will remain idle. That means it will be called again and again. And therefore, as soon as it will every time it will be calling, uh, it will be the uh, rotating point one degree. It will be rotating about the axis of joining the line zero zero and one one one. That means it will be rotating 0 0.1 degree uh, about the axis of A and H in our case. And this is the thing. Now I'll show you that if I built it and then if I run it, you can see it is rotating and only there are two faces of the cube. I have not completed because step by step I will show you the how a, a three dimension is generated with the two dimensional things only. Now I will show the remaining part. Now you can see I have added another two faces uh, and one of is you can see 0, 1, 0. That means it is a green. Another face is you can see 0, 0. One, it is of blue color, and and at uh, remaining things, the remain the same. As just I built it and run it, you will see that there are four faces now. Now you can see I have added another two faces. Of the cube. As a result, the cube is now completed. Now I'll just build it and run it. You can see it is a complete cube. All have all the faces, six faces, has a different different color as I have given, and that is all about the rotation of a cube about a fixed axis.